What's up, guys? I'm Logan. You guys probably already know that because I tweeted, but there may be some of you guys here who don't know me. So therefore, I'm Logan from uh, Crit TV or Tech Syndicate. Take your pick. Crit TV is the new thing. So anyway, we're here, we're here at Shadecraft. They called like a week ago and they were like, hey, do you, you want to come check out the, uh, the Sunflower? It's this really interesting outdoor, robotic, autonomous, shade providing thing. And I was like, that sounds interesting. Let's go check it out. So while we're here, you guys can see the, the little back of the booth. Let's walk around to the front of the booth so we can um, see this. Now, I think that um, stuff like this is kind of um, interesting. Let's go this way. Stuff like this is kind of interesting to me, actually very interesting to me, because you see it, and at first you're like, well, that's different. I never thought of a device like this in that way, you know, being connected, being able to use your smartphone app to connect to it, or just letting it be autonomous. And then all the different things you can do, you're like, well, I guess this is the future, really. We're looking at the future, and right here it is, the future of shade outside. So here's the sunflower. As you can see, 10 feet tall. We've got some nice industrial design going on there. Solar on the top, so you're not gonna have to worry about, uh, you know, always plugging this thing in. You've got solar for the power. And what it does is it uses AI to detect what's going on with the sun, and it makes sure that you're always in the shade. If you want to not be in the shade, you can use your phone and just like, you know, maybe swipe it around, move it around so that you're not in the shade if you want to get some sun on you. And that's not all it can do. We've got the uh, CEO here. This is um, Armin. Hi, Armin, how are you? how you doing? Good. How are you? I'm great. So thanks for having me out here um, to check out this. This, it's. <laughs> It's extremely interesting and it's bending the way I think about what's going on outdoors, you know? So, first off, I want to know, like, what inspired this? Like, what did you think of that made you want to make this? Well, I think for us, uh, as a robotic company uh, based in LA, as a startup, for us, it was a natural evolution. I think uh, everything around us is, is going in this smart direction right. with sensors and uh, technology. And, uh, the, you know, whoever's been outside trying to move around uh, an old parasol, trying to situate it, right. has realized how difficult it is. And then looking around for your stereo, then trying to get lights that's, you know, outside at night, and then out of the, you know, out of all of that stuff, you're looking at, okay, connectivity. So he just combines nat natural, inevitable solution for bringing the, all of these technologies in right. to one product that is viable to live out there. So... So I'll tell you what I'm seeing, and you can jump in and give me some other sure, use case scenarios, sure. but I'm seeing like a world in the near future where, uh, you know, all the canopies and just the parasols, like you said, all the stuff that, you know, like the server has to come out and move it around when you're trying to eat out, outdoors in a cafe. I'm seeing a lot of that stuff being replaced and seeing these all over cities. And I'm, I'm just seeing like this interesting view, almost kind of a futuristic view where you have all these things moving around. So. Do you have any uh, plans for you know working together with different, I don't know, restaurants, venues, beachfront, resorts, something like that? Sure. So what, do you, what, do you, what do you think this is going to be? Well, I, I think there's a lot of applications for uh, for basically the robotic shade systems, right. uh, and our mission is to improve people's lives outdoors right. through robotics. And uh, having said that, I think one of the main things we have to look at is number one, solar energy, right. and also following the sun. Uh, which is very important for optimum solar energy. Then we go down the list, and right after that, yes, I think for my kids, it's going to be almost second nature to say, you know, turn to a, a robotic shade and say, can you please play my music, or, you know, can you make sure that uh, mom knows this or that, or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But for us right now, it's a leap. So what we're trying to do at Smart Shade, you know, uh, basically with Shadecraft, with the smart concept, is try to bring all the IoT concept from inside the home to outside the home. And I think that's a really important step uh, that needs to happen. I think for us, we looked at the inside of the house and, and for example, for some solutions like, you know, is your teddy bear, it's confusing for us too, even in right. robotics, uh, is the teddy bear gonna turn off the coffee maker or is the coffee maker gonna turn on the you know AC unit? Uh, it gets kind of confusing, but when you step outside of the house, there's really no viable solution, I think, until you know, today, until Shadecraft launched its uh, IoT device. So. so you're kind of putting a lot of the key things that you would be using in, into one device. Right. And you also have a camera in here, right? Correct. So can you tell us a little bit about the camera? Um, I guess it's right there in the... Is that it right there? It's actually right a there in the stem. higher up. Yeah. Uh, you can see the little dot. So the great thing about this, and I think the implication of how the camera system could work, is it's an extension to your security uh, provider. Uh, aside from that, uh, you can remote, remotely view uh, images from your house. If your kids are at the pool, you're at work, you just want to see them. 
uh, it's wonderful. So you don't have to hold your mobile device. The umbrella can be moved around either by you from a distance or by them uh, when they're at the house. Uh, the security aspect of it's very important because imagine in vineyards, uh, in larger properties, uh, you have a solar powered uh, autonomous right. robot that is connected to the cloud and is basically then transmitting this information for security and safety to your you know, service provider. Right, and I, I would bet someone who's up to no good is not going to think to look here. You know, they're going to be looking around and like, oh, there's no cameras. Yeah, but actually. Right there, there is a camera. We have a funny, you know, it's an internal joke at right. the Shadecraft Labs is uh, that basically the, the only way a thief would go unnoticed to try to steal uh, basically an intelligent robot like this right. is to be a bird and to sit on sit on it the from top. above, yeah. But otherwise, you can't approach it and not be detected. Uh, you've given them all the tips. They're going to build some sort of contraption to <laughs> grab it from the top. No, don't do that. Uh, so the next thing I want to talk about here is uh, you mentioned, uh, you know, you, you've got the, the camera built in, you've got the speakers built in, and you mentioned that you can you can talk to it and ask it to do things. So um, you also said before we started recording, uh, you mentioned open source, so uh, you're not going to use like Google or Alexa, or, or are those things possible, or, or are you going to leave it open, or what's what's the plan there with the, with that? Well, that's that's the company's philosophy. We we're consumer centric, so we want to make sure that uh, you know the consumer has the choice, and I think that. Although we ourselves may may think, even in you know, sort of the engineers, each one has their own opinion. Like for example, I may use an iPhone. Engineers might want to use, for example, you know, a different phone. So the same way, I think that different people might have a preference, and we want to leave that open. And we are basically providing a, a solution to come outdoors, but we don't, we don't want to actually pigeonhole consumers to think only you know, only be able to have one source of AI. And I don't think that that's the right decision at this point. Right. So we want to leave it open. So do you think, uh, I guess, if you leave it open, users will be able to maybe even, if they're smart enough, go on and create their own apps and programs or integrate it into their own you know, private closed systems? I know there's a lot of people out there that are worried about you know, security and data mining and harvesting, so there'll be options for, for that. Well, we'll definitely look at that because I mean, there's a lot of intelligent people around the world, and uh, you know that uh, they can definitely try to control objects or you know uh, redesign or re-engineer a robot that they purchase. Uh, but uh, considering safety, sort of precautions and, and barriers and stuff like that, I think that it would be you know obviously interesting to see what people will do with our objects. Uh, yeah. So, uh, when do you expect to have this to market? Our goal is 12 to 14 months. Mm -hmm. uh, we're really excited about uh, seeing this everywhere, like you said. I mean, it's a, it's a dream for us. We designed it for the consumer. We designed it to see it all around. I'd, I'd love to see my kids, you know, uh, play with it. I, I want to see, you know, when, whether you go to the mountains or you go to the desert, uh, on the beaches, the restaurants. I want to see it everywhere. So uh, we'd like to get it out about 12 to 14 months from now. And we believe that we have a very strong plan yeah. uh, to be able to put this out to market. Yeah, that's one thing that I want to commend you on because you see a lot of really cool devices and then you talk to the people and you're like, their plan, it's, it's a cool device, but I'm not sure if it'll ever become ubiquitous because they don't really have the plan. But you guys, already in talking, have like, got some plans on how to get this out there. So that, that, that could be cool. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to take this so I could be like, guys, you may be seeing this in a lot of different places and you'll be walking in the road and be like, oh, it's a sunflower, right there it is. In you know, 12 to 14 months, who knows. Now, um, also, you can allow uh, you know, maybe different companies to skin this or color this or make their own you know like stylized version of it or right design is very important to us yeah. my background in industrial design uh, you know basically has been a strong force behind the company and I think that it's it's important for us to allow consumers just like phone covers to clip different shelves on it um, you know we even thought about doing a competition where people can actually start painting on these uh, worldwide exhibit them in galleries it's the first robotic shades in the world. <laughs> uh, you know, we want to have a lot of fun campaigns like that, and then ultimately, of course, because we're going to have four spoke, five spoke, six and seven, eight spoke uh, options, uh, more solar power, uh, which will give you actually more in excess of what it needs. Uh, and also the idea of customizing the fabrics differently. Uh, so that's, in the future, that's where everything's going. I think that uh, that's what we're going to provide. So. All right, uh, one last question about the future. So you've got a couple different things integrated into this. Do you have any future plans to integrate, you know, more apps, more services, uh, you know, more features into this? 
We definitely have the secret. A, we definitely have a whole slew of cool things we we thought about. Um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give one away today. All right, you guys uh, got you guys getting one right now, guys. Come on. Armin's right gonna right give now. us one. All right, we're gonna have we're gonna have uh, we just designed a, an object that looks like a hockey puck, uh, and basically, you know, you can throw that in the pool. You can have suntan lotion on your hands. You could be gardening. You just press a button and the gyros recognize each other and that object's going to be able to rotate uh, the sunflower, which oh, is cool. it's, it's amazing. So you can actually, as you press the button, you'd be able to rotate it as you wish. And for people, for example, in wheelchairs, I think in the future this is an incredible product. And I think it's good if you can't really access it, you might want to just carry it, carry that object with you and be able to manipulate this device. Of course, you can do it with your mobile device. But if your hands are dirty, you don't want to even touch your phone. So you can literally throw that thing in the pool and grab it from the pool and just press the button and then you know, move the object. And I think that that's a great. So I just gave that one away. I know the engineers in our company are like grinding their teeth right now, but I gave it away. So we got to do it, guys. We maybe do maybe it. there's something even more secret than that that you're not giving away. So they're going to be, you could just be like, all right, at least I didn't give away this. No, I think one of the most important things is, you know, at first and foremost, uh, innovation. Uh, as you can see with Sunflower, it's at the forefront of what Shapecraft is about. And as an American company, we certainly have a whole slew of new things that the whole world hasn't seen. And we'll release them uh, little by little as we feel that it's time. So, right, so how are you going to use yours? Like, what are you going to be using for audio books or hanging out in the hanging out on the, on the back porch of the uh, you know outside and you know having a cup of coffee, listening to an audio book in the morning? What do you think? Well, uh, for me, audiobooks are great, and that's one of the things. But I, you know, one of the things is sometimes you know people don't realize having uh, you know a smart uh, object like this, a robot next to you, where you can actually just literally say, "Can you just play?" You know, the sound of a phone. Uh, if you're in the middle of a city, and I just want to relax, turn on the lights. I want to have a glass of wine, right. and. In the meantime, can you make sure my lights are off in the house? And can you make some coffee or can you lock my door? Right. And so we're going to have an open communication with the entire ecosystem. And that's our goal, of course, because that's what's the beauty of what's going on right now. I think that that's really important to us. We want to be able to control devices inside. We want your devices inside to be able to control Sunflower. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't make sense. And that's what the smart home ecosystem is about. So, uh, I want to use it for, for music. I love music. I want to listen to some jazz, personally, or it could be Led Zeppelin or anybody. So, yeah. uh, Whatever you want. There's, yeah, no, there's no limit. I mean, you guys can play anything you want. So, uh, all right, Armin. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much for having me out here. Thank you so much. Ranching device. Guys? Yeah. Uh, anything you want to say to them before? I you just want to thank everybody, and I want to encourage you guys to definitely go to shadecraft.com and connect to us on all the social platforms. We love to hear about what your thoughts are and uh, because that's what it's all about. I mean, we're designing stuff, but you may have better ideas. So please let us know and thank you for your support. Thank you. All right, thanks very much. All right, guys, again, I'm Logan. And uh, thanks to uh, Shakecraft with Sunflower. Be sure to uh, you know keep keep looking out for uh, you know more devices like this and also this device in the coming uh, 12 to 14 months. Who knows um, where you're going to see it. So uh, I wish we could turn. I uh, wish we could get some questions there. But you guys can post all those in the uh, in the comments below, and we'll, we'll check those out afterward. So uh, you, want, you want to take a little, little bit of a close up, you know, shot of this? Some of the industrial designs. Before we uh, leave, we got a couple more minutes here. You guys can see the camera right there. Make sure you can see it really clearly. For we got the joint there, the stem it goes all the way up. Now the, the canopy on top of the shade does fold down. So that's uh, you know, nice and easy to pull down. And uh, there are solar panels. Do you think we, could, you think we could run inside and see the solar panels? If we run really quick, we can go in and see the prototype? Or Yeah. Let's come on. Let's go check out these solar panels. I there's a better way to solve this problem. So many things going on around here. So we're going to go into this crazy hallway right around here and see the solar panels. What are you doing tonight? Staying in. Who's coming over? Anybody coming? All right, this way. I'm going to walk backwards. Not bumping anything. There we go. How's it going? You're famous now. It's too late. All right, here we go. There's the solar panels on this unit. And you can get a nice close-up shot of it. I don't know how many people in our audience are uh, looking for one of these or wanting one of these. It's kind of weird because I'm, I'm in Portland. It's always cloudy. So I was like, well, that's interesting. It's always cloudy here. But I'm sure in the summertime, there'll be a few places that have these all over. What's that? It's bright in here. All right, guys. I'm going to sign off here. 
Uh, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. And uh, again, questions, comments, let them know. Uh, Armin and the team here at Shadecraft will be reading those. Again, it's the sunflower. I'm not supposed to be touching that. And there it is. I'll see you guys later.